Good game to Casey, I guess. Too bad there's no helmet to give him a freaking baseball sticker. Yeah. Somehow you still give me a turbo. Uh-huh. <laughs> Day number two out here at WKA, specifically for the Ignite series. Ben, the princess, is still asleep. It's about 7 a.m. and uh, I just happened to wake up and thought, you know what, I'm gonna come over and get the cart work started because we all know he's not gonna do it. So, yep, 7 a.m.-ish out here in Newcastle. A little brisk, but awesome. Just beautiful morning. It's been a great weekend so far um big thank you to the ignite folks for this opportunity and you know try this new formula for us been a ton of fun a lot of learning but based off of yesterday by the end of the day you know i think we're getting there slowly slowly but surely um so make another change based on uh ben's feedback for the morning practice then after that he's gonna have a pre-final and a final actually here at Newcastle Motorsports Park uh, for WK Man Cup event with Margay. Um, we will be running the Ignite Senior Program, so if you're not familiar with what the Ignite Senior Program is, um, everybody's in one of these K3 chassis right here. Every single person that I'll be racing against is in a K3. Uh, it is all designed to really put it in the driver's hands. Um, we're all gonna be on some pretty hard Hoosier R80 tires. The adjustments you can make are pretty minimal. Um, it's just some ch chassis tuning and then all drivers. So really when you get it on track, it's like, hey, whoever wins is theoretically the best driver. Um, but yeah, so super stoked for uh, Margay and um, specifically Zach and Keith for making this happen. Uh, Casey's out here wrenching for me this week and he won't be racing, it'll just be me. And a little background on this series, uh, so, started around 2014 at Gateway uh, in the St. Louis area and uh, they had their fair share of big dogs come out and race it. I, I remember Connor Daly and um, Gabby Chavez both racing at IMS for that race and they've had NASCAR drivers, other IndyCar drivers, I and mean, they've had uh, a lot of big names come out and race with these guys and a lot of people, a lot of those big names didn't even come out and win. So uh, this week we'll be racing against some of the Trinity guys. Got uh, Evan Stommer out here and, and a whole fleet of uh, other Ignite seniors. So super stoked for the weekend. Just super grateful we're able to do this and hopefully get some good content. So I think I think Ben was running the camera. So uh, I think he went back to get his phone to uh, so we can watch it so he can know for sure. Uh, yep, there he is. But, yeah. So this is a little bit of the evidence. <laughs> what? The pushback. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not no, denying no, 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 that no. I bumped him. I, and you're gonna hold judgment for the video. My 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 point of view on this whole thing is going out in the front, trying to be fast. All I'm doing is bump drafting the guy so that we can catch that group in front of us, right? And we are in a section you need to be going flat out, like that's just what it is. And so I'm bumping him and he gets a little sideways. I bump him as he's getting a little sideways. Like I'm not trying to obviously do that. Um, and he got off and it's just I mean, I'm not saying like it's his fault. I'm not saying it's my fault It's just like something that happened right if he was sideways If, if he was squirrely and you just happened to be pushing him. Well, that's not your fault 
Let's look at it. Let's see. I talked to them about it and they were really cool people. It was just kind of one of those unlucky things. Um, I'm sure he'll be he'll be back for the uh, pre-final. He was kicking my butt a lot yesterday, so um, yeah, I don't know. I think we all just wanted to be faster than we were and frustration's got the best of us in the morning practice, but uh, we're, I think we're pretty cool and looking forward to get back on track here for the pre-final. Um, Practice overall was pretty good. I was two tenths off of the leaders, which is the closest I've been the entire weekend. Um, and the cart was only getting better every every uh, lap. I, I was struggling the first lap or two for, for grip. And after that, excuse me. After that though, it came alive and uh, it's feeling much better. It's feeling really good actually. So who knows? We may see, we may be sniffing a podium today. It is an absolutely fantastic morning. You could not draw one up any better than this. Warm temperatures, light breeze, and we are here at the American Bald Eagle of Go-Kart Tracks, Newcastle Motor Sports Park. The Morning Walk with Dad. And it's been a fun weekend as Ben has tried this Margay Ignite series. But uh, looking for a, a little tranquility, uh, not one to draw uh, strength usually from posters on a wall or anything like that. But uh, this morning looked up a little inspirational quote on perseverance. And Walter Elliott says, perseverance is not a long race. It's one short race after another. And I suppose he's right, but we're getting punched in the nose every short race we run here but uh the margay crew has been very nice to us under that tent the sobieski family especially helpful it's been a fun time i don't know if ben's humbled or not but uh it's a good group of racers and uh very competitive one more to go we'll see if we can't do something in that race all right, here we are starting in eighth for this pre-final. I can see Nick in the 05 to my front right. Um, and the 55 in front of me, of course. Reed is two to the, my right as well. I think Stommer's in front of him, or two in front of me. Two in front of me, yeah. Um, terrible start here. I, I honestly, I still don't know what happened. Uh, I've been watching this a few times, and I'm not sure what exactly went on, but I lost two spots like that off the get-go. Um, and I think the racing started to pick up a little bit as well here um, as we get into the pre-final and the final day of racing here. Um, I'm back behind um, my boy Ryan, Ryan Ginsheimer, um, and I was looking to work with him and Nick, who is now in front of Ryan, um, to just move forward as much as I can, uh, but ultimately, I, you know, it just wasn't my weekend. I, I did everything I could to just continue to go forward but it wasn't it and this is a big reason for it these 90 degree corners right here you know somebody gets off so luckily i'm able to catch up but this whole weekend those 90 degree corners which is normally one two three and four were just not it for me i never had to set up for that i actually felt best in the hairpin so like the the corner we're coming up on uh that hairpin i felt actually best on a, of everything and you know the other hairpins were probably close behind but those 90s i just never hit so um felt pretty good in this hairpin though i have a pretty good run coming out of it I actually take a peek here. Can I complete it? I've got the left hand turn to do so. Ryan doesn't really resist it much. I appreciate that. Um, so I get by him and hoping that he will just kind of push me um, the rest of the way. But I think after that, it was a somewhat of a boring race for me. Uh, a lot of straight line stuff, really just kind of watching guys pull away, which is always not fun. But here, actually, we just got the white flag. This is the last lap here. A guy is in my sights we had just been pushing to catch up to him i can't remember who it is 55 or 56 but um you can tell we're gaining on him uh but there's only one lap to to really catch him so we're doing everything we can here to pull in on him and it's like right there right when i on the slower corners when you feel like you're right on him it was like oh but then when you get to the straights it pulls away so it's a total mind game but i could tell we were pulling in pretty well um 
and I really thought we were going to do it here. We were probably halfway through this lap here. Got a left-hander coming up. Got to hit that really well. Um, a little bit probably just a fuzz higher than I would have liked to have been. Um, but coming in here, we've got one more hairpin into what's known as the horseshoe around Newcastle. Um, I needed to hit this like perfectly and really probably him to have a mistake to have any chance. But um, as you can see, he still has quite a healthy gap. If we have an extra lap, you know, maybe. But uh, on this lap, it just wasn't meant to be. The only thing we've got left are the 90 degree corners, which, as I mentioned, kind of my worst part of this track. Uh, so it was ultimately not meant to be this weekend, but um, had a had a had a good good time um, and really I'm just kind of gearing for the final right like everything I've learned up to this point is for the final so I think I finished seventh here and started seventh in the final see what we can do what you got going on Casey <laughs> oh. oh this the is the whole here. reason not it wasn't Ben that was slow in the last time no so um, I have to notice is the seat strike mounts here could come loose you can actually still see this one this one's loose so it was just sliding around so um, tightening those up so pre-final just ended and I was pretty slow uh, back to about eight nine tenths off the, the top time like I had been the whole weekend until uh, the Ironman race yesterday Casey came back with a touch of optimism yeah you can see it. Uh, I don't know. I might that be these out of seat straps were, were loose. Um, yeah, I just didn't have it. I made a couple of driving errors early on, but uh, I just didn't have it. I wasn't hitting my marks, and I just didn't feel amazingly quick that one, which sucks because I had been like that for the first day or two, and then I had found something, and then there was. So maybe it was just the seat struts. We'll see. I don't really want to make a ton of changes. Like the cart didn't really feel any different it was just slower if that makes any sense at all so maybe the seat struts moving around and corners and stuff was messing up my exit speed let's hope so um because i'll be starting near the back in the final um but i got 12 laps to uh to move forward oh just sitting under the tent breakfast has been cooked there's no thrashing on the carts you know we do our thing here at newcastle with the kras and Took a trip to North Carolina this year and so been looking to do a few different things and Ben has been wanted to try some different things especially and had a chance to try this Ignite series. It's been a relaxing weekend. We haven't had to thrash. Of course we've only had the one cart. Been a real learning experience for Ben. Hard tires, spec series. Um, a lot of driving adjustments hopefully it'll pay off for him with the experience but just it's been it's been a good time uh, a lot different than what we're used to and I would say that if you look at the calendar and you're looking for something uh, to try something different and you see the ignite series is coming near you give Zach a call they take great care of you uh, just been a, a first-rate operation for us to get this experience with and um, can't say enough about it and it's uh, it's nice to have an 80 degree day and not be sweating and thrashing about uh, on your own stuff so been a good experience you know I'm wearing my uh, my fiance shirt she made me she's or I'm the talent she's misses the talent and I feel like every time I do I perform poorly so I may have to make a wardrobe switch here the only issue is that she's wearing her shirt misses the talent right now too so that would be tough a tough convince whoa look at you go man he's fast uh oh here comes uncle ben <laughs> what you did you almost wreck your scooter? Yeah, I almost wrecked my scooter. Did you? But hey, you I got it in the grass? I'm going to go fast. I'm going to go far. I can't. On the grid for the final right here. Right up there. Um, honestly made minimal changes. It's gotten way hotter out. Adjusted for that some, but going out and uh, just gonna put it on me. It's been on me the whole weekend and uh, I don't know. That's all there is to say really. I, I, I 
nobody to blame for myself. This, this is the point of the series. It all comes down to the driver. And uh, I have to prove I'm good or not, I guess. I've been mid to backpack the entire weekend. But gosh dang it, I'm going to try for a podium. I was really great in the longer race yesterday, got in a rhythm and stuff, let the car come to me, but a 12 lap race is a lot different than, you know, like 35, 40 lap race like yesterday, so. I don't know, going out there, fighting for a podium best I can. Alright, so finished in 7th in the pre-final. Coming to start seventh in the final, of course. Um, you can see Stommer in the 53 to my front left, and then Reed is right in front of me in the number nine here. Both uh, great young talents racers um, in the Mark Ignite program. Uh, much better start than before. Outside line was a little bit slow. I was able to go up high here, see the three wide. Had to check up a little bit um, with the 56 checking up out of the three wide push. Um, avoiding the chaos right there. I think that's Nick who goes off. Um, don't worry, he'll come back. <laughs> um, but just trying to move forward here, stay with the pack, really. Uh, you can see a lot more racing, you know. Obviously great we racing all weekend, but this was really, I mean, this was the final. It was a culmination to this race right here. Um, and so gloves came off as I get by Reed there um, on the inside of the hairpin. Um, tracking down the 56 now. Um, and Ryan, you may see up there in the 199, man, he had a great start to the weekend. Um, uh, and he's, you know, a great young kid. I love racing with Ryan. He's a, just a great guy to be around. Um, on the track, great driver, young, talented guy, but off the track, better kid. So, um, he gets back to me and, and I'm on his bumper now and, and I'm looking to work with him. It's like I said, he's a, he's a buddy, uh, a local Newcastle, uh, club guy. So. Um, Reed goes for the attempt here. Um, 90s again, man, I'm struggling there. So Reed goes, and I think the 55 is behind him, trying to push him through. Um, Reed is able to complete it. The 55 also looks to the inside here. Nice, clean racing. And then it's tram line time. <laughs> I, yeah, as you can see, I'm a little bit upset. It sucks. Uh, but uh, good on them completing the moves. Um, and I did get tram there a little bit. I'm trying to follow Nick through. I told you you'd see him again. Um, he was back with a vengeance. Um, so I do get back up at least behind the 55. I'm trying to make something happen for the rest of the race. Um, yeah, hats off to Nick. I mean, that dude, he took a ride in the grass, and here he is already right back um, up in the mix of things with a chance to keep moving forward. Great, young, talented guy as well. I keep saying that with all these guys, but it's true. Um, so I'm behind the 55 here, kind of putting my nose out, kind of not, just kind of testing the waters, seeing if I could maybe make a move. Um, Historically, the car got better through the entirety of the session. Um, that's kind of what I was finding all weekend. Um, whether that be the car itself or the driver, you know, actually getting acquainted to the car over the course of the run. Um, as we're early on here, it still wasn't necessarily completely in yet, and you can see it. You can even see that my line's a bit drastic. Uh, I tried to take the inside there um, so I didn't just completely wash out on the high side. Fast forward, and we've got old Nick here. Um, who I'm following through the horseshoe and this is I believe actually the final lap um, yeah you can see I was just losing everybody the entire time um, but was able to catch up to Ryan as the race went on and push him for a bit and then ultimately get by him here coming to the checkered um, man just brutal weekend for Ryan he started off so great he was the fastest guy out there um, but over the course of the racing I mean he's just something was going on with his cart and they I don't know he was insanely fast all weekend and then it just stopped and super talented uh, great kid and honestly great series had a ton of fun but wanted better results of course before I get into anything I just want to give a big shout out to Ryan Gensheimer he's had some issues this weekend a lot of things he's been going through um, and he's I mean he, he's a heck of a young man heck of a heck of a driver he helped me out several times this weekend he and his dad both um, I know he's frustrated and he probably won't even like me saying anything like this but uh, I don't know I just want to give him a shout he's a, he's a phenomenal driver and I don't know I don't have much to say other than I hate he kind of had a rough go this weekend because he's a lot better than what he showed and he knows that but uh, just finished our uh, our final here it was tough I'm not gonna lie to you guys physically too like I'm just 
I'm exhausted and wore out. We never got close to the setup. I was good in, uh, I was great in one corner. Whew, terrible in the other, what, 13? No, but I had a few corners I was solid in, but these uh, 90 degree corners, what's normally one, two, three, four, I was going, I mean, that's my bread and butter, right? That's where I normally feel like I dominate some guys, and uh, just not the case. I never, never could figure it out coming backwards uh, and these uh, with this setup, so. I had a ton of fun though, like that's the weird thing is I'd be so pissed out of my mind if in a KRA race I was out there just running alone for 12 laps, but it was like, it was just a different mentality. I was out there trying, I was like trying to beat my best time, you know, like Ryan was right behind me, like trying to, uh, you know, I never wanted to feel a bump from him. It was like a little game. It was like, uh, he was drafting me. And I was like, if I felt a bump, like I lost, you know, uh, if I didn't feel a bump for a lap, then I won. So uh, it, it was just kind of a, a different atmosphere, unfortunately, since I wasn't in the mix at all. Um, congratulations to uh, everybody who finished in front of me <laughs> and I guess everybody I raced with because almost nobody finished behind me but uh, phenomenal competition out here some some truly great and it sounds weird to say that in a, in a smaller class but legitimately some some great competition out here I can't take anything away from them I, uh, I earned my spot of eighth or wherever I finished these guys whooped my butt and they did it with a smile on their face too like everybody's been super nice super kind I can't be mad about any anything with anybody uh, it sucks I uh, I have a similar feeling in Charlotte just like disappointed in my own effort what I my own finish is really not my effort I definitely felt like I put it out there but mm, I wouldn't do it again you know I learned a lot and I I have ideas for what we can do next time but that's the weekend it was a long weekend it was a fun weekend I wish it could have been a little bit quicker. Can you introduce yourself to the camera and everybody? I'm Danny Sobiak, Nick's mechanic. Yeah, so if you guys are familiar in the 206 world, you probably know the Sobiak family and Nick. He's a phenomenal young man. Uh, but this guy, he has been helping me out all weekend with all sorts of stuff. Or just kind of telling me, like, you know, revealing secrets that they're doing because I've been on the struggle was hard. So I want to give a huge shout out to not only Nick for his great driving and butt kicking of me on the on the track, but also he's got a heck of a dad here and an absolute pleasure. I'm sure many people in the industry in the world already know it, but I want to give you a big shout out and I appreciate right. it, sir. Thank you. No problem. Absolutely. All right, everybody. We have got none other than the man, the myth, Keith uh, of Margate Racing here. Uh, He's been talking with us a little bit the past day or so, telling us all about this Ignite series. And I just like to know kind of like, where did the idea come from? Like what what kind of stirred Margate to be like, all right, we're gonna start this Ignite K3 class and it's gonna be as spec as possible. Can you tell us about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, I always have felt that it's too difficult to get started in party. Yeah. And, and that is an important distinction that we need to make about the Ignite program. We're not trying to take existing harders from other classes and draw them into Ignite. We really want the emphasis here to be on drawing new partners into the sport. That's what it's all about. And in the past, there's been far too many choices and too many complex questions, and, and it's just too difficult to get started to race cards. So we wanted to address that by making it easier. So with the Ignite program, where everything's spec and all of the drivers are on the exact same product, it's very easy to answer the question. You know, when people say, hey, I want to get started, how do I do it? It's very easy to point to this package and say, start and Ignite. Absolutely. Everybody's on the same equipment, and the emphasis is on you, the driver. Yeah. So you can't blame me. It's all about and, you. And, and that's the unfortunate driver. thing. I, I can't blame Keith for my poor performance this weekend. But I uh, know we were talking like today. You've got all these body work. You know, is, is this fact there? Is it a myth about like is there performance in for clutches and Lord knows what the ratio of stuff? And so uh, we just had a conversation like that's what we want to eliminate, right? Let's take all those little voices inside your head that's like, oh, do I need to spend three hundred dollars on something that might get me a thousand? you know on a small race track like, you know so I, I think that's what I really appreciate about this program and so I guess the last question I have is like do you guys have any like other plans for the future like what's coming up for you guys in the Ignite K3 series so we would like to expand Ignite and we'd like to include a two cycle as a next step oh and same concept where everything is spec sealed engine we're working on that and uh, we hope to have that lined up for 2023 that's our goal 
Uh, we're entering 2022 is our eighth year with this program. Eighth year. Yep. Uh, we've sold a great number of these cards, and I feel like we've brought a lot of people into the sport. So, um, my question for you is, did you have fun this week? I did. I uh, I've said obviously not not well. I told you a little bit, but on the camera I've said it a ton. Like the the down part is I found out I'm not as good of a driver as I hoped I'd be against some of these guys out here who do this all the time. But uh, no, I had a blast. I really did. I mean. Even like the Iron Man phenomenal. We we Case and I can't shut up about that. Like he, I, I know he wishes he was out there too. But that was a, a great event. But just like, even though I got my tail whipped by some of these kids, it was uh, it was an absolute blessing. <laughs> yeah, Casey's holding up. I got a camera. In you here, got it closer and it closer was, to you. It Keep was it slowly getting blast. cut out. Uh, I think the next like I'm trying. He's trying to get me to go to Quincy and do this and stuff, and so, uh, yeah, absolute, absolute blast. I will tell you guys, this is not the last time I'll be in one of these because I've got some unfinished business to do, but Keith, I appreciate everything this weekend. You are, thanks for being here. Absolutely, you know, great man for the And uh, also, Zach's not here. That man right there, also a tip of the cap to him. He's He's been Keith's right-hand man, and he's done everything you could ever ask for a man this weekend so uh, thank you guys so much and if you guys uh, want more interest in or if you guys are really interested in learning more about the Margay stuff we've got stuff in the description for you so go ahead and scroll on down there click it maybe Casey will put like something right here I don't know he'll figure it out and we're gonna see you on point oh, <laughs> see everybody so we have a lot of extra time this weekend seeing as things are spaced out and things in earlier than normal that we've decided to take after Finley's t-ball that he's been playing recently and uh, do a little home run derby with some wiffle balls we've got here so the primary players are I mean it's between dad Casey and I as like you know the vlog stuff but we're gonna have a couple guest hitters in here to compete as well maybe even mom we'll yeah, see definitely. mom might even definitely mom oh yeah okay yes. grandma should grandma swing no yeah. grandma's a photographer anyway we're gonna be playing a little round of uh, you need me to. home run derby here. Basically, you get three outs. If you hit a home run, that's not counted as an out. But if you swing and miss, or you, you know, don't hit it as a home run, that is an out. Just Casey and I will play a couple of innings of this. And uh, the only thing you really need to notice the cone is where you're hitting from. The fence out there is the home run. Probably gonna be a little bit difficult to see, but you'll you'll get the point. I mean, I'll just start cranking a few, and we'll be good. Was not a home run. Strike one. one out. Yeah. That's how I get up. Donnie said she's on the other side of the fence for no reason. All right, there's a one. One out, one home run. That is three outs for Ben in any one. Tad is next. Where you want it? Right down the middle. First out. Second out. You got this. Third time's a charm. Or maybe not. <laughs> There he got it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. over the fence. It is officially one to one for the brothers. <laughs> Get there. I think that was farther than dad. Dang it. All right, after one round, Casey and I are the only ones on the board at one apiece. Oh. If I recall, I hit farther than that. <laughs> if you recall, you're at zero. <laughs> Boom! Oh, it made it. I consistently hit better than you. Uh -huh. Two. Turned off the camera because it's low on battery, but Ben says he needs the fans to do good. Turns out he doesn't need you guys because he still did bad. Grandpa did it. That was a good hit, Dad. Oh, yeah. Might have been the second furthest one. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa has two. Ben has two. And Casey is yet to go, but he currently has one. Uh -oh. And an easy home run. Woo! 
Two to two so far. That was the first pitch, man. Yeah. So Casey well, has next three go. Let me know the next two three go. more chances. No, three. three. Three more chances to beat. I'm not worried about it. The Ben Stall and the Tad oh, Stall. Classic choke artist. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm, strike two. Oh, man, that uh oh. 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 <laughs> Casey is the official winner. Oh! That's hit. To the fence! But not over. Not over. Uh, All right. What was the final tally? Did anybody keep counting? Three, two, two. I had three? Yeah. You mean I won? Uh, <laughs> a blind squirrel. Good game to Casey, I guess. Too bad there's no helmet to give him a freaking baseball sticker. Yeah. Somehow you still give me a turbo. Uh huh. <laughs> Just got Regan and I here signing off. Everybody else is kind of, you know, doing work. So if I can get out of that, that's always good with me. Uh, but had an absolute blast this weekend out here with the Ignite crew on the Ignite K3 chassis with Margay Racing. Um, just sincerely, I just appreciate everything. Uh, everybody from, from Keith and Zach, obviously, to uh, everybody that we were sharing pits with. Um, just a great group of guys and gals out there that, you know, smiling after good runs, after bad runs, just a true kind of family atmosphere, and that was a ton of fun. So uh, huge props and appreciation to everybody at Margate making this happen um, here at the uh, WK Man Cup here in Newcastle, Indiana. Huge thank you to Dad and Casey as well. Um, especially Casey really waking up early, wrenching on my car whenever we needed it. Um, and thank you to Regan, Mom, Maddie, um, and then Regan's parents, obviously. Uh, they came out here some yesterday and got to support me and, you know, the mediocrity that I was putting out there. So, uh, results weren't the best that I had hoped for, but absolute blast, ton of fun. And, you know, we're looking to do more fun stuff like this going forward. So, you know, hopefully this is certainly not the last thing that we do um, in this kind of realm. So, thanks for watching though, guys. Have a great week. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in the Mario Ignite chassis, like we said, we'll drop some stuff in the uh, in the comments. You guys get you guys hooked up with the series. So you know, instead of watching this, you guys can be out racing with us. All right, take care, guys. Bye.